all right guys so i just did love music part one uh we're moving on to part two um the first one was kind of like a, a little bit of a poppy upbeat vibe um and he talks about his love of music and then at the end he spit a little spit a little rap and still let us know that he's uh you know he's gonna come with it and he's he's still has a certain amount of self-respect which is good i'm curious to see you know how things progress as we go um it looks like this one is also off of freckled angels so i wonder if all four of them are on freckled angels um the album i'm assuming it's an album you guys keep me in i'm sure you will you guys are great with that uh let's get right into it testing one two one two how's my levels is that coming out okay can you hear me hang on hmm. yeah ladies and gentlemen hello Oi, what do you get if you take a Welsh boy? Mix in some lunacy, mix in some noise. Mix in affliction with music addiction, conviction and friction and leave it to boil. Friend, but don't overcook me, please. Serve me with the fine wine and a cheddar cheese. Cause I'll immature with age and I don't deep freeze. Cause I'll melt your freezer with the fire that I preach. Deep, I speak mad. Hey, so he's saying, um... Yeah, he's saying, what do you get when you mix someone like with a music addiction, um, affliction, you know, pain, and then just like focusing on the music. Um, and then he says, Ren, he says, but then he says, this isn't the best. The best is yet to come like Frank Sinatra. I think that's Sinatra. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and he's also saying, I'll, I'll melt the freezer with the fire that I bring. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Wait, what? Oh no, we re we don't want to rewind all the way. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. But don't overcook me, please. Serve me with the fine wine and a cheddar cheese, cause I'll immature with age and I don't deep freeze, cause I'll melt your freezer with the fire that I preach. Deep. I speak metaphors in my sleep, soliloquies and solitude, my mind on the beat. Neat. I repeat words, retweet. I said neat. I repeat words, retweet. Heat. I chase pretty girls till I'm weak. I was talking to this one girl just last week. She said, Ren, I just so tongue in cheek, but it was hard to ever talk with my tongue in the cheek. Half an animal. <laughs> so he's she said uh you're so tongue in cheek but it's hard to hear her talk with my tongue in her cheek i'm assuming tongue like his physical tongue was like they were making out uh, unless if tongue is slang for something else in the uk but uh okay let's go Oh, I'm sorry guys, here we go. Let's retweet. He I taste pretty girls till I'm weak. I was talking to this one girl. Oh, I taste pretty girls till I'm weak. Okay. I repeat words, retweet. He I taste pretty girls till I'm weak. I was talking to this one girl just last week. She said, Ren, I just so tongue in cheek, but it was hard to ever talk with my tongue in the cheek. Half animal and cannibal, I'm from a boo, it's tangible, my casual jet by the cool grammatical mind. It's practical and practical fool and really quite guys, it, I I whatever, I gotta pause it. So so he's saying, you know, he goes from talking about tasting, you know, tasting this is what he said you know tasting girls it was hard to hear talk with my tongue in her cheek and then he goes on to say you know i'm a cannibal so like you know it, uh, it, he his flow switches are in, are incredibly good um and he'll go like like kind of where you can follow along and then he'll boom he'll hit you with a lot all at once i do like to see that that flow switch up by the way i would love to see a tech nine collaboration between these two uh tech nine and ren i i think that would be Cause, cause Tech Nine's got some musical versatility, but his thing is is like hip hop rapping. I haven't heard much Tech Nine that's like singing. I'm not a Tech Nine expert, um, but I would love to see what what those two get together because I do like a lot of Tech Nine's uh, musical elements. I'm not huge into the horrorcore genre of hip hop. Um, I have a, a respect for it because there is a certain amount of of lyricism in that genre. There's a lot of lyricism in that genre. Um, but for me, it's like I can only listen to so much of like, oh, I'll murder your whole family and, you know, like drag them across the street with a horse and like oh, just insane stuff in that horrorcore genre of hip hop, guys. There's only so much I can do. But um, yeah, Ren, he'll he'll go slow and then he'll hit you fast. And then that's when I'm like, guys, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I got to pause it. So I'm going to rewind a little bit here. Uh, let, let's keep going. Retweet. He, I taste pretty girls till I'm weak. I was talking to this one girl just last week. She said, Ren, I guess so tongue in cheek, but it was hard to ever talk with my tongue in the cheek. Half animal and cannibal, I'm from a boo, it's tangible, my casual, yeah, radical, grammatical, mind is practical, impactful, and really quite super natural, detachable, from my skull, socket in my spine. Insane. Is he possessed by a monster? 
hunchback of Notre Dame type posture, clasping his hands like a rapist lobster. Talk like Tony Montana, mobster. Say hello to my little. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> clasping his hands like a rapist lobster? Something Tony Montana. What? What? Tony Montana mobster? Uh, what? <laughs> I, I love I do love how off the wall Ren could be because something I something I love about Eminem's early music is uh, the comedic aspect of it where he'll just say something so off the wall that you just you're just like what what in the fuck is this guy talking about part of my French but it's it's just like so off the wall that you're just like you're imagining it and you're visualizing it and you're just like how how do you come up with some of this stuff but uh i i love to see that kind of creativity guys Fine. insane is he possessed by a monster hunchback of notre dame type posture clasping his hands like a rapist lobster talk like tony montana mobster say hello to my little friend once again i got more lines than a whole cane den ren i say you once again if you forget ren fool your lungs out like a cigarette haha <laughs> the kitty with the word play fetish alliteration of a line to lush like lettuce i live my life with love and light illuminate like lightning the liberation leader with linguistics of a lion you know it's all just fun and games yeah honey you got me smiling like there's something funny this music guys whoa whoa oh man i like that I li so he he goes he starts slow with the lyrics and then he goes fast and got, gets like somewhat grim somewhat comedic like somewhat off the wall and then he comes and hits you with a beautiful little hook man ren is uh, uh, l let's let's keep going here guys you know it's all just fun and games yeah honey you got me smiling like there's something funny this now i haven't heard it but i can hum along to it so i i can l let's keep going guys I sink MCs like battleships plundered. Twist words like Tony Hawk's 900. Post that quote on Tumblr. Reblog that quote if you want to dub. Cause I'ma bring the love. I'ma sing the love. Half chav, half hippie. I'm a chippy love. And I was raised in the country, not the city, bro. So I'm stabbing up cheese. Never people blood. Because we need some love. We need it like a drug. And even if you're feeling. Dude, a city. Like, do people from. Uh, look, I don't like to overgeneralize. But people from New York, people from heavily populated areas. I, I'm from a city where it was like it was kind of big, but it wasn't big enough to like get that like that gritty city just like don't care about anyone like cut in front of people kind of mentality. Um, and also my parents did a really good job of like raising me and like, a, hey, no, like you don't treat people like that. Like that's like you treat people with respect. So they were definitely from like small town country. And so the city I grew up in was kind of like that. But that's that's funny um, that he says I'm, I'm from the country. So I, I you know, I, I chase uh, cheese, which I, I think think he's talking about money because that's that's a phrase used in, in hip hop for money um, instead of. I, I kill cheese instead of people I think was the line yeah um I'm a big I'm a big proponent of like I, I've I've met a few people from New York there I think they mean well but the culture there is just so like the way I view it from an outsider's perspective is it's toxic but there's a lot of like talking over each other like a really brash brash attitude um they almost talk like like, okay, I'm going to drop the big T word. You guys don't get mad, but they almost talk like Donald Trump. And, and that's not to say they're all like Trump people, but like that, it's just like they, it's how they talk. Like they, they'll talk over you. They'll like, they're really brash. They'll just say what's on their mind. And they're like, they don't care if they offend you. And it's, it's once again, I don't like to overgeneralize, but I've met a good amount of people from New York who kind of have that attitude, New York city, by the way. Um, who have that attitude and that way of talking and it's it's not really like it's not my preferred method of communication and from an outsider's perspective since I wasn't raised in that I view it as like a toxic way to communicate but in watching enough of them communicate I almost think that's just like how they it's like if you're not doing that then like something's wrong with you so once again as an outsider's perspective I'll shut up about that, but let's let's keep going. I'm stopping up. Ren gets me going on tangent tangents. 
He's never people blood because we need some love. We need it like a drug. And even if you're feeling minging like an ugly pug, you deserve a hug. Cause man, believe me, yes, you're brilliant. I shake the scene like Shakespeare. Now they call me William. I'm killing them all over every border of the meridian. I'm giving them my idiom so harder than the rhythm. I'm purer than Bolivian. I'm deeper than amphibians. A dippy lippy, pretty looking hippie village of the year. So, so, hell, all right, guys. I have to, I, there's so much in here. Um, Shakespeare, um, I think he, he said I shake this sh 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 I can't even talk this guy. This guy gets me jumbled. He said I shake the scene like Shakespeare. Um, I, obviously, I think he's referring to um, like kind of how Shakespeare was like the he was like the revolutionary poet of the time who who wrote like full plays and it was beautiful performance poetry. Um, and I, I believe at the time he was like the big like like he was huge it for his time i i think is what he's referring to there Shakespeare, now they call me william i'm killing them all over every border of meridian i'm giving them my idiom so harder than iridium i'm purer than bolivian i'm deeper than amphibians a dippy lippy pretty looking hippie village of you uh, you know it i said <laughs> deeper than amphibians a pretty looking hippie or something like that yeah i i can't i can't break it all down guys i'm not a i'm not a robot i'm not an ai so <laughs> let's let's keep going i'm deeper than amphibians a dippy lippy pretty looking hippie village of yeah, uh. You know it's all just fun and games, yeah, honey You got me smiling like there's something funny This music soothes my soul like nothing, honey Remember in the 90s, people used to sing rap And I'ma try to bring that right back Sean Paul taught me how to beat And Shaggy told to tell them it wasn't me It wasn't me But I saw you on the CCTV It wasn't me Breaking into Toys R Us last week It wasn't me You were dressed like a ninja sheep And using Furbies like bowling balls Seriously, you're insane man No I'm not, yes you are You're talking to yourself You're a mother flicking that art You're losing the plot more than Quantum of Solace That film seriously, really quite bollocks James Bond type reflexes Shaking off Oh the he's talking uh, Quantum Solace the the james bond movie interesting um yeah so he's, he's saying like he learned to sing almost from Sh from sean paul uh he he's got uh the big one from him i think was called temperature um but he he had like a really cool pop singing voice for the time it, it just like took over the radio waves for about like a year i want to say um but i remember listening to that song as a kid and i, I really liked it because of the vocals and like it, it was poppy it was catchy it was upbeat and i went to this rec center where there was this guy he would play that song and he had like a dance routine that he would do and it was really cool to just watch him do a dance routine to the song um that's kind of a side side note but he's saying like i, I drew all these influences from uh it sounds like he's saying I drew, drew these influences from from different artists and musicians. And um, yeah, I mean, just just his ability to come in slow, then then speed it up and then hit you with with an upbeat, like really well. I, I don't know if it's a well melodically or wh what that technical term is, but it sounds sounds like a really nice hook um, matches really well, well with the instrumentation. And then the way he sings it, it's it's catchy. It's a beat and it reels you back in. It's something you could sing along to. I mean, I'm doing it in this reaction. So let's keep going, guys. That film seriously, really quite bollocks. James Bond type reflexes. Shaken not stirred when I'm mixing up my letters. Golden eye fixed on the Thunderbolt check this. Diamonds are forever, so I eat them for breakfast. Live another day, but tomorrow never dies. I live and let die, but you only live twice. For your eyes only, see it through your eyeballs. And I fell off the moon rake sky. I live and let live, and you only die twice. Inter yeah, I don't, interesting. For breakfast, so I eat them for breakfast. Live another day, but tomorrow never dies. I live and let die, but you only live twice. For your eyes only, see it through your oh. eyeballs. And I fell off the moon rake skyfall. You got to know, I got the skyfall. So I, I wonder if he just referenced like 10 James Bond movies. He said Skyfall and Quantum Solace. Um, I think that's what it was called, but I don't know. Like, I'm not a big James Bond person, but I, I know those two. And so I wonder if he just referenced more in there. Interesting. That's pretty cool, man. I know you guys said Ren had a, a huge love of cinema, which is, is pretty cool. I love to see like, um, I love to see like cross, cross genre or, or cross artistic genre, um, homage paid. It, it's, it's a weird way of putting it, but like, for instance, Dave Chappelle is a huge hip hop fan. 
and so he'll have a lot of like hip hop ish jokes kind of um and you know ren there's a lot of there's a a, a few different hip hop artists who are huge movie buffs or, or they really like cinema and so they'll reference a lot of different movies or some of their they'll have like a lot of movie wordplay there's a, a rapper named diabolic if you guys like marvel the marvel series you should listen to diabolic uh marvel it's called marvel and it's by Di diabolic and it's i actually have a reaction to it up i mean it's it might be worth watching but for sure check out the song because it's like it's incredibly well done um i love to see the cross genre communication because or or not communication but the you guys know what i'm saying but i i like to see that because it's like art isn't a single genre and like some people are really i'm really into music um i'm not huge into music but like even when i watch a movie i can like i, I see inception or the dark knight or like you know i i like chris christopher nolan um or or even um even like uh, inglorious bastards and I, I like draw inspiration and like I, i'm musically minded so i'll watch a movie and be like oh man i would love to sample this uh this uh, little interaction between the two characters or like this little musical snippet I think that would make a great like hip-hop song like like I love drawing inspiration from any form of artistry um, and so I love to see when other people do that as well to your rivals and I fell off the moon rake sky full you got to know I've got the flow I'm doctor no with the license to kill the man with the golden gun type skill octopus he means eight girls that's ill Gold yeah so he is golden tongue and I'm sending this message from yeah so he he's he's referencing a lot of James Bond love on her majesty's secret service I went to casino royale the world is not enough <laughs> The saxophone. He hits you with the saxophone at the end. Man, I, I like Red Man. I really do. <laughs> Fading it out. Nice. I like, and I'm just noticing that bass line too. I don't know if that bass line was in the whole song or if that just came in at the end. Um, wow, yeah. I mean, I love music too. Um, I I don't have. It's it's hard to dedicate as much time to music as I would like to. Um, but I I would like to end up making my own music uh, at some point eventually. Um, but I, I love to I love to see artists that draw and spread because I think that's just the artistic mindset. Like I, I don't think it's I don't think it's like, oh, this person's really into also happen. You know, it's not like, oh, this artist or this this musical artist is really into these kinds of movies. It's like, well, there's it's just kind of the artistic mindset in 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 my mind is um, kind of how it works. Like I do landscaping, so I'll do some construction projects and like I like to uh kind of incorporate an artistic element into that um i won't bang on too much here guys uh i got part three and part four to do you guys take care